Smith is going head to head. And there's plenty more still to come because Van Gerwen still needs another four legs. Taylor needs six. 139. Decline in the 180 for a 177 that wasn't to be. 140. Never anywhere else was it that last start. The question is, can Michael Van Gerwen continue to burn brightly? Burning at this amazing wattage of 110 average with five 180s. The bookmakers believe he can. He started the match as a two to one underdog. 100. He's now 10 to six on. The tenor on to win six. Bill Taylor, the underdog at five to four against. Another brilliant visit. Phil Taylor's 11th 140 in this match. Not missing. The pair of them are not missing. Well, I mean, 12 dark legs here are just commonplace. It's it's ludicrous. It's such a madness. The bull. 62. Well. 130, Wayne. It's a nice little finish. Only one treble 20 needed in the first two darts. And you would say now it's odds on for him to get a shot. Yeah, and the ball's on it. Michael Van Gerwen has broken. And we that's a tell. We know that's a tailor tell. He's under pressure. When he bites the flight, he's worried. And so he should be, Rob. When Michael Van Gerwen took out 130. To win 5 0 against Ted Hanke in that farce of a fixture. He's just taken 100. out 130 in the white hot atmosphere of a battle against the greatest man ever to throw a dart. Taylor is two breaks of throw down. It's fast approaching, must win legs here for the power. Yeah, if he doesn't break here, what an uphill task. That it's not already. But Michael Van Gerwen, he's not stopping. He wants to hit more and more 180s and 140s and doubles. Sixth 180 for MVG. Well, there are plenty of people who watch this boy play, and he was a boy at 17 and said he will be the greatest of all time. He produced darts that were darts of the gods. Then he disappeared off the darting radar. He's becoming a darting deity again tonight with this performance. It is absolutely wonderful from Van Gerwen. Taylor isn't losing this game. Van Gerwen is winning it in spades. But can he finish it off? 46. Is that first buckle? Phil Taylor. Six darts. Six darts. He only needed two. Ridiculous, ridiculous errors from Van Gerwen. Phil to Rupert. Game on. Well, it, it's almost difficult to find words, Wayne. It, the English language is barely a powerful enough tool to describe what we're witnessing. 140. Phil Taylor knows. Isn't it 180, Phil Taylor? 13 149. But Phil knows that all he can do is just carry on. He's doing nothing wrong. And that's a situation that Phil hasn't been in too often, is it? Taylor has to believe that Van Gerwen cannot keep this up. But that belief will be diminishing with every three darts Van Gerwen throws. He has to believe that he'll get a dose of clinch's disease when he gets near the winning post. But there's no sign of anything. Seven, seven 180s in the match, and every single one of them to Michael Van Gerwen. Well, you made the point, Wayne. Phil Taylor is doing little wrong there. 59. We know 180s don't win matches. They help, of course they do. Phil Taylor is averaging 107 would win any match against any player anywhere in the world it's just not tonight against Michael Van Gerwen got it all to do
Michael Van Gerwen is on fire and Phil Taylor needs to call the fire brigade quick to douse him down because otherwise this game's going to be over in the next five minutes. This could go. This could go. Triple 14. A surprise when he misses. But he's coming back for charts. Unless Taylor can deal with this. Well, after the last throw, Phil Taylor lets out a huge puff of the cheeks as if to say, Nancy. Giving it everything, Nancy. just not enough. 40. Tops for a five-leg lead, and re would require one more. 20. Is that the first sign Very of required. what's commonly known 52. as Clinch's disease or finishing line fever? Taylor, with half a chance. Tops, big moment. Double ten. Pressure is enormous. The pressure is enormous. Might only require 20. We're going to be bold and say, even a year ago, Phil Taylor would have taken that chance. They're both missing. Phil, you require 20. Double 10 for Phil Taylor. You're witnessing moments that make this game so special. You never ever know. They all miss sometimes. Double ten. Game he hasn't seven, missed. 13, Michael Van Gerwen missed 13, half a dozen darts in a double. 13, two, in two nine. clumps of three. Taylor still alive. Still alive indeed. Barely. 140. As long as he can keep Michael Van Gerwen needing two legs, he has a chance. In amongst all the hullabaloo, 94. should point out that it was only a holder throw by Phil Taylor. Only a holder throw. It wasn't a disaster for Van Gerwen, but he would have been so much happier to be in front by a further. Look at this now. Look at that. Get out of the way. Well, that is something I've never seen before. Never seen this before from Phil Taylor. Thank you. Not during the match. Right? Riled, completely riled. Michael Van Gerwen done Thank nothing wrong, he wasn't gentlemen. taking his time. He, he's, he's annoyed the great man. Well, everyone has their time. Um, Phil is obviously feeling the pressure, and he knows Michael Van Gerwen is good enough to steamroller him and win. Never ever seen that before. 55. But will it have an effect? Phil's, has it had an effect? Phil was clearly bothered. Yes, it has had an effect. Whether it works for or against Phil, it's had an effect of some sort. 100. But has it had an effect on Van Gerwen as well? This is becoming a very important leg of darts here. It'll either be 9-5 or 8-6. Van Gerwen intent on making it 9-5. A 174. It leaves 32. Taylor can't go out. But remember, MVG has missed his last half a dozen darts at double. 131. Brilliant. Double 16. It's a move within a leg. The victory over Phil Taylor that he hasn't done since 2007. He crept in there. Phil shakes his head in disbelief. Phil to Rupert. The very best of all of Wayne, I remember John Park Game once on. saying to me, unless you throw, you never know how much luck is involved. And that dart, when it deflected, could have gone anywhere almost. It went in. Had it gone out, who knows? But it went in. 9 5 Van Gerwen. When you're playing well, you have that little bit of luck. 43. Could this be the leg? Phil starts with 43. Michael Van Gerwen is all over it. Michael Van Gerwen won the World Masters in 2006, youngest player ever to win a major, 17 years of age. He won the Grand Prix last month. Forget all that. This would be the greatest win of his life because Taylor has played brilliantly. And as I wondered, is he, is he taking the baton? Are we seeing a changing of the guard here tonight? 99. Or has Taylor won? last big effort to get out of trouble in all the years i've played and watched darts i've seen phil taylor 
84. many matches and we've seen him lose but no one over this kind of format has continued to hit scores and doubles like Michael Van Gogh in, in this match well before this match some bookmakers were offering 12 to 1 against Van Gerwen win the World Championship. It, it won't be that now. He's got six. He's got to pile them in, Taylor, and pile the pressure on. He's going to come back for that 102. Whatever Van Gerwen does. But the pressure's going to be enormous on Taylor. He's going to have to take this 131. out. 131. This has got to go, Phil. Single 10. Double 16 to save the match. 86. This Michael is Michael Van Gerwen's it. moment, and Taylor knows it. Taylor knows this is over. If Van Gerwen hits double top, it's Michael Van Gerwen, the future Michael of darts, has just become the present of darts as well with an absolutely breathtaking win over the greatest player ever to throw a dart. He hasn't just beaten him, he's dismantled Phil Taylor on the big stage. He's beaten him 10-5, he's averaged 108, he's destroyed Phil Taylor to reach the quarterfinals and win the greatest darts match of his young career. Michael Van Gerwen is the toast of Wolverhampton tonight.